All right. Hey, y'all, please welcome Yetta. Hi, everybody. My name is Yetta Sachinga, and I'm currently a junior at HSC. My opportunity for this period was racism. First, I would like to start out with what racism is about. And according to the dictionary, it is prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against someone of a different race based on belief that one's own race is superior. The reason I chose this uh, opportunity is because I've grown up in a predominantly white society, and I've seen how young black men are affected, like especially in areas like Chicago or even like here, like Indiana, they're affected. They don't have the same resources I do. Like I go to a nice school and everything, and they go to IPS. Um, so as far as like the origin of racism goes, it began as early as the European uh, colonization when Christopher, well, Christopher <coughs> Columbus started coming in and colonizing and conquering um, the Indians. Uh, people wanted to, they wanted to, uh, they wanted to uh, create a social institution uh, that said that based on your color, uh, I am more superior than you. <coughs> Racism affects the black community because there's increased crime rates for our uh, race due to living due to living conditions that we're in. As far as education goes, 41% um, of students graduate from city schools compared to 81% in urban schools. From one of my sources, it said that black people are 33 more percent likely than whites to be detained while facing a felony trial. Another fact is that um, in 2010, African Americans received 10% longer sentences than whites through federal systems for the same.
So the reason I chose that video is because all the facts seem credible and their sources seem credible as well. And one of the facts that really got to me was the car one, because I want to buy a car in the next couple months or so. So like, you know, paying an extra 700 bucks, I mean, I'm not a big fan of that. That could go towards like tags or gas money, that kind of thing. And as far as solutions go, um, one simple one that I found out is that I uh, made up was just learn to love one another. It doesn't matter like what race you are, just learn to love one another equally. Give you everybody equal opportunity. Um, with the employment, I got to thinking like, because I want to do something in business when I get older. So I was thinking, um, you know what I could do is I could take off, because um, on some job applications, they'll ask you for what your race is. I was like, you know what, I could just take that off. That's something simple and easy that I could do. Just take off on what race it is. Because like right now, I work at Kroger and I could put in like, what race I was. I thought that was a little ridiculous or so. And then another thing we could do to help out the black community is help out people who are working. Because I know some like some people in the black community just don't want to be up. We want to stay where they are. But those who are willing, maybe we could help them like through tutoring sessions or uh, help them in school kind of thing. <laughs> Questions, comments, suggestions for Yetta. Um, I was just going to comment when, after the video finished, and you said that the reason you chose the video was because the sources seemed credible and stuff. You yeah. know. Uh, definitely wouldn't say that they seem credible. I would definitely. You oh know, no, I looked at them as well. I didn't right. Yeah. My bad. Okay, that's good. That is good yeah, that you. Yeah. Sorry, then I, I would just, as far as yeah, wording wise, you yeah, know, because that seems like well, they seem good. Yeah. So just <laughs> making sure as far as wording. With your, um, first of all, uh, Haven, did you come up with the word probability? That is it. I, I like it. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. Thankfully. Um, secondly, with that, is your uh, topic just between racism, just between, just um, African American <laughs> black community in general? Well, it was like it is, but I also did research like on other cultures as well, like also like the Muslim community. I know people aren't a big fan of them as well. Like I hear comments all the time. About so then my question is, I, I think anyone in this room can say that racism, you know, still exists today, you know, full front, and it's going to exist for a long time. What do you see as the big change going to happen to racism in America, you know, today, tomorrow, five years from now? To be honest with you, I don't really see it. I see a change, but I don't think it's for the better. Mm. Interesting. And what, what, uh, what leads you to believe that? Because, um, I don't, it's like, because it's like this, like ever since, um, like Obama got in, like black, uh, black versus white crime, like increasing the amount. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was looking at it from like a future perspective. I like, there's stuff being done to prevent it, but I don't see it like stopping it. Like, I see it getting worse, but I still want to try to stop it. I think, um, racism is a huge problem. Obviously, a huge problem. Um, we all know it's a huge problem, and I think you, as one person, you're never going to solve racism. We, as one classroom of people, we're never going to solve racism. You know, it's one of those things. Like you said, you see it almost not getting better just because of the divisiveness in our country. But I think something that maybe you can focus on in this project is finding something that you can dial in on. That something, you know. I think this, these projects are really great and you guys address really big problems a lot of the times. And it's almost too big, you're one person. You, you aim so high and that's great and I respect you for that. But I, I love when you guys come in with something that you are gonna focus on and you say, I'm gonna be one person, I am gonna make a change because I'm gonna aim small, I'm gonna start you know, influencing my sphere of people, um, my life and see what change that can make. Um, so I would just encourage you to maybe find something that it might be something small, it might seem small, it might seem like it's not going to cure racism. And you know it might not, but it's going to make a difference in your life and the life of those around you. And you know, I don't know what that specific thing is. That's down to you to kind of determine what you're, what maybe you're really passionate about. Maybe you're really passionate about the, you know, differences in education or those crime rates or, you know, unfair business policies, that kind of stuff. Whatever is really your passion. 
I would encourage you to focus in on that and see what difference you can personally make in that area. And I think that's going to be so much more effective than saying, hey, here's racism. We need to fix it. Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. And to go off of that, one thing that you said was a key <coughs> point was learning to love one another. One thing that you could go in and focus on, so as your one topic, rather than conquering all of racism, one thing is teach people how do you learn to love one another. How, what is the right way to treat people? What is? How do you speak to an adult? How do you speak to children? How do you, how speak do you treat your classmates? With, right. Yes. Yeah. So it's like mm -hmm. that right there can be the first turning point right. and the thing that you could really focus in on. And to, sorry. Okay. okay. To comment on um, why they have what race you are, it's because of the Equal Opportunity Act, and so companies oftentimes they get checked for how many minorities they hire. And so it's kind of helping racism or like, you know, minorities get jobs. So they have to check, you know, whether they're black, American, white, or like whatever. You know, so it's kind of helping the racism in a way with minorities and, you know, them being able to get jobs and stuff like that. So. Uh, a couple things. One is, you said before you started, hey, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. You make a great presentation. You walk up here with a suit, you know, you've got good presence, your posture is good, you know. So you ought to be, and the more you do this, the less you become nervous, but be like, you know what? I'm going to project this, right? Mm -hmm. So don't be nervous because you're not coming across nervous. <laughs> don't quite rely on the note cards as much because you have a passion about this, but your content was really good. When you're showing that video, that video elicited emotions from people watching it. It's like, oh, I think you ought to be interactive with it and almost get engaged and uh, almost pissed off as you're looking at that and say, look at this, this statistic yeah. says whatever. Yeah, then we're, we're, you're drawing us in at the same time you're showing your emotion. Yeah, that's good, because that video, I mean, it was gr a great video, the statistics were phenomenal, but it was just kind of a lot of silence, and I think he's 100% correct that if you're like, this is ridiculous, this is, can you believe this? Can you imagine if you had to pay 700 extra dollars for a car? And I think that's a huge. It keeps the audience interactive uh -huh. in what you're doing, and keeps them focusing <coughs> on what that video really is saying. Does that make sense? I think one thing it, that was really interesting what you said, and I've never heard this at all before with this issue, is taking the race question out of like applications. So I don't think I've ever heard that, so I was just, I was just wondering what, like, like almost expanded, like, like if you could expand on that a little bit, like why? Like when I said that, I was thinking, you know what? Um, if I take it out, that I don't know like what race you are. Like you could be a very dedicated worker. I could. <coughs> black, white, Asian kind of thing. That's what I meant in that context when I said that. I was really curious because I've never heard anybody, I don't know about you, I've never heard anybody bring that up in the I mean, it's a great context. idea. I was yeah. just telling yeah. you why they, they kind of why do they things do like that. that. I didn't yeah. know that. But at the same time, there's the colorblind racism. And I don't know if, how much you've ever heard of that, you know, topic. But it's saying when we ignore race completely, we can unintentionally further racism um, and it's it's a really complex I'm not going to try to tell you what it means because I'm not even 110 percent sure what it means myself but um, you do have to be careful that in attempts to combat racism we don't then turn to colorblind racism because it's a very very sharp double-edged sword um, and it's it's hard to walk that line it's so hard but just Keep that in mind and maybe look that topic up because it can it would probably help you a lot too, I think. So it's Yetta, right? Yeah. That's how I pronounce it. Hey, I just wanted to uh, you look good. Thank you. So thanks for kind of looking the part, right? Um, I think even that just helps yeah. kind of the stereotypes, right? Mm -hmm. And so yeah. I definitely yeah. appreciate that. I mean, one of the things I try to do is I try to look presentable, mm -hmm. right? I'm not trying to look like a white dude or look like a whatever, whatever right? I just try to look presentable, um, and people respect that, yeah. no matter who they are, right? So I appreciate that you, you look shocked, man. So uh, now you tackled a huge, something that, you know, like one of these young ladies said, I mean, it's not gonna be solved overnight, right? Um, and I don't expect it to be solved overnight. And guess what? I don't worry about it too much. And you shouldn't either, right? You just put it in the perspective of kind of where it is. Yeah. And you just do things like this, which was neat. I mean, those stats and um, the information there, all that stuff, I kind of know back here. Um, 
And so it was kind of nice to see it and see some of those sources, which are probably, probably credible, you know. Um, I know what I experience, and I know, and you know what you experience, and, and uh, people know what they hear and see. Um, but I think just you being up there, tackling this huge issue, I probably wouldn't have done it, <laughs> right? Just because I might have not done it, right? So you're brave, so I commend you for, for doing that, and I commend you for just standing up there and sharing. What I saw was you kind of sharing your heart, right? You just said, hey man, you know, some of these things that are happening aren't right, and I think everybody in here could identify with, yeah, you know, they're not right. And so, but it's a heart issue, you know? And, you know, it's hard to change people's hearts. You can help change somebody's mind. It's, it's hard to change somebody's heart, you know? And so, um, all you can do is be the best you and that you can be and just help people that I think one of these folks are saying just help people that come across your sphere your sphere man it's all about relationship that if him and I have a relationship when we have kids and they have a relationship that's that just builds community man. so and it's all about inclusion now he's not scared to hire me because he knows who I am he knows that him and I just alike, we're no different, right? So, so as you, I think one of the other girls said, so as you kind of look at this issue, you can't tackle the whole thing, but if you think of, it, I can tell you're passionate about it, so pick out one or two things that you really like and you're passionate about, and let's focus on those two things, and make it a deal, whether it's an organization, an association, a business, whatever it is, you're not gonna be thinking along, kind of along those lines, uh, as, a so, as a, a, a solution, a small piece of whatever the issue is. So, but thanks a lot, man. You're brave. You look good. Thank you. Appreciate and uh, thanks for sharing.